So let's continue from Ra. Ra means come. Okay. Uh, here, when we when we are discussing about come, uh, we need to remember the base form meaning as well as the imperative meaning. This come come means Ra. This is the meaning in the imperative form. Only. For example, if you want to ask somebody to come, you can say Ra or Ra plus Andi Randi. Okay, but the base, uh, can you tell me the base form meaning? I think you know already, just to check I'm asking. Uh, the base form of uh, what now? Of Randi? No, no, no. Yeah, uh, of... Randi or Ra. Uh, base form is what Chu. Ah, I think. Oh, what Chu. Yeah, what Chu. Because all the base forms in Telugu ends uh, with U sound. So that rule we have to follow. So, what chu? What chu is the base form. But in imperative, it is a ra. Okay, ra. Okay, so that's the difference. Then, snehitudu, friend, this is male. Yillu means house. Okay. Avunu, yes. Okay. Kurcho, sit. Uh, please sit down. Can you translate? Okay. Uh, uh, so, please means means okay. So, next to what we have here, aim. Aim means what sort, what kind, what kind of things like that, okay. Uh, yeah, also, this is the short form of EMT. For example, what are you doing? No, we aim chase to now, like that. Okay. Then in English, uh, that is only same. Next we have Dani. Dani means it's it's a possessive form. Okay. Dani who's Dini, it's again it's uh, possessive form, but this is prox. Uh, if it is near, we can use this one. Dani. If it is far, we can use that one. Then Alaga. I see. Manavadu, grandson. These are the vocabulary words which we used in this lesson. Uh, there are some more. Kadu, no. Uh, there are, sometimes we also say ledu. Ledu means not exist. It gives that kind of meaning. But when we make sentences, you will clearly understand. Snehituralu, friend but female. Gadi, room. Okay, let's make one sentence with uh, room. For example, you went to a hotel, okay, then you, you need to ask, I want your room, I want your mm, room with the attached bathroom, like that. Okay, or let's make simple sense, I want your room. Can you translate? Naku gadi kawali. Yes, naku gadi kawali. Naku, we can say waka, but it is optional. Naku waka gadi kawali, like that. Okay. Mm. Now, uh, Varu means here they have mentioned he or she, but basically Varu means they, but to show respect, like a remote farmer, we can use for he or she as Varu, but Varu means they. Next, we have Nana. Nana means for father okay actually again uh, earlier i discussed i think nana it is used in the spoken language to translate father like dad okay but in written telugu we use tandri that's the word okay but nana nana it is used in own in the written telugu also uh, but mostly uh, spoken uh, in the spoken language we don't use much like tandri we use nana only Next, Vari. Uh, here also, Vari means the true translation is their. But in this context, they mentioned his or her because they want to show respect. In such case, we can say Vari. For example, his name is here. If we want to show respect, we can say Vari Perun, like that. He is singular only, but to show respect, we can say Vari. Then, Viru, again, True translation of Viru is they. Okay. But here they want to show respect. That's why they use he or she meaning. 
amma means mother so amma it is more commonly used in the written and the spoken there is an, another word uh, actually the true translation for amma is like mom okay mom like short form how we call how we call okay but in written telugu we use the word talli talli like tandri it is talli combination then next one viri this also there the two translation is there but they used his or her next we have tata grandfather okay my grandfather's name is okay can you translate this one na tata gani peru a narsimha okay so usually when we say my grandfather my means na but it is more common to use the word ma or so usually when we say ma tata gari peru because you may have brothers sisters cousins like that in such uh, a mood we say usually we say ma tata garu like that we say we don't say naturally na tata garu we say ma tata garu so ma tata gari peru uh, you can say narasimha like that okay then next we have babu babu means child meal a little yes affectionate address so if you want to call a child if he is male you can say babu itura itura means come here like that okay but when you are calling you need to use the long vowel sound at the end babu like that okay but when you are referring for example that boy name is arun a babu peru arun so here we are not using the long vowel sound because we are just referring we are not calling him okay that's the difference between addressing and calling okay next one yeah there is some grammar notes from the sentence patterns used so far in the previous lessons so noun balla this is uh, just to build vocabulary balla means like table or bench adi means that noun phrase uh, pronominal adjective plus noun nagadi nagadi nominal adjective latagadi ah okay so here latagadi means lata's room that's the translation and nagadi means my room okay then a further expansion of the np so they are talking about noun phrase so it is noun phrase yeah. a further expansion of the np noun phrase is also possible as in sentence like jawaharlal nehru tandri peru okay so here can you translate this one in english okay so so jawaharlal jawaharlal tandri peru motilal So, yeah. Jaharlal's father's oh, name yes. is Motilal. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Ame Bharta Peru Firoz Gandhi. Her husband's apostrophe, husband's name is Firoz Gandhi. Like that. Okay, it's correct. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next, we have uh, the same thing they explained again. So let's skip this one. in this lesson the third person formal and uh, okay, this also we discussed already okay. thing, yeah. emphatic marker a is introduced in yeah. this lesson idi plus a ide this is just to emphasize okay ide vari illu ide atani computer like that this is it is normal but this is the one that's the meaning of ide okay next in this lesson yes sir no type questions are introduced okay so this also we practiced already so we can skip so kamala plus a ah, kamala that means is she kamala like that we say he and a doctor is he a doctor this is the question 
Okay, this also we discussed already. No need to repeat. Okay, so here we have uh, E is added to the Lu ending nouns Garu. Okay, so Garu becomes Gari in possessive form. Okay, this also we discuss. Manavaralu becomes Manavarali Peru. Granddaughter's name, like that. Ravigari Kuchi, Ravi's chair. Snehitudi Illu, friend's home. This we can skip because we already discussed. Let's go to the next one. Okay, Nenu Yavaridi. Okay, Nenu Yavaridi. Who am I? So here, yeah, me is the suffix. Yavaru means who. Nenu, the meaning of I. So Nenu Yavarini. Similarly, the answer can be, can you try? Nenu, you can say name. And use the suffix. Nenu Anirudhani. Yes, perfect. Uh, ni or Nu also fine. And it is nu also. Then, for example, in my case, I can say Pravin nu, Pravin ni. Both are correct. Next, nu nas ne hitu divi. You are my friend. That means, yeah, meaning already there. Nenu Ramaya gari manavarali ni. I am Mr. Ramaya's granddaughter. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I see that is the meaning of alaga. Yeah, this also we discussed some time ago. I explained. So the in day-to-day -day life, we use Amma, Nana in spoken Telugu. But in the written language, we use Talli, Tanri to translate mother and father. So basically, uh, mother means uh, Talli, mom, mom means Amma, dad means Nana, father means Tanri. That's the meaning you can remember. This also we discussed. Okay. So, whenever you want to give respect, we use andi at the end of the sentence or short phrase. For example, even imperatives. Kurcho plus andi. Kurcho andi. Brai plus andi. Brai andi. Like that. Okay, uh, this is also, we discussed earlier, like, for example, Pilli plus A, Pilla, is it a cat? Like that. Gadi plus A, Gadi, Gada, like that we say, is it a room? Manavadvi plus A, Manavadi Va, are you grandson? Like that. So, all these are for the questions. We can skip. Okay. Papa Adiyam Pustakam. What is the book, dear? What is that book? Dear? So here, Papa, that means he is calling the girl. That's why he said Papa. Otherwise, it will be only Papa. Okay. This is, uh, uh, you see this symbol, it is called Pollu. Disguising marker or pollu. Okay. Uh, I think you know how it sounds. Can you tell me? Yeah, I understand it. It's just like if there was ka and it had that symbol on it, then it would just be ka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Half sound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even for me, for my name, I can write at the end, mm, mm. so it is not a complete with a sound, half sound only. Okay. So, yeah, as you see here, ka, k, ch, ch, ra becomes r like that. I think you know this topic, so we can skip. Okay, can you read these names? Mm, Kamal. Okay. Bhavan. Okay. Uh, Aranjan, okay. Chand, okay. Bharat, 
ओके जवाहर ओके रामन रामन रमन रमन ओके अजय ओके पंत ओके लंदन लंदन यस शंकर शंकर यस अरब अरब ओके ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव कॉन्सोनेंट वर्बल कॉम्बिनेशन और गुणिंतम दिस इज अबाउट तेलुगु रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग ओके दिस थिंग्स यू नो आई थिंक ऑलरेडी सो वी कैन स्किप एम राइट या गुणिंतालु यू नो ऑलरेडी okay since we have some vocabulary it will help you to build your vocabulary you can read these words but most of them names some of them nouns general nouns okay you can read okay leela gopi vijaya ravi trunam trunam randi trunam nenu ame ओके अदनो आदि ओके मीरो ओके आह ये वरो ओके काफी टी ग्रोहम यू कैन से टी अंते टी टी ग्रोहम टीचर ये में टी वेंकट प्रपाकर यस अटेंडर तातागारो नारायणा क्रोधयम यस रामाना रामाना रस्से रस्सिन हम अच्छा रामाना रस्सिन हम रामाना रस्सिन हम अच्छा मात्र भाषा हैदराबाद 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 Yes. So let's see the meanings for important words. Uh, Leela, it's a name. Gopi, it's a name. Vijaya, name. Ravi, name. Trunam, it's a word. Uh, Randi, actually, it is Randi. They mentioned Randi. Uh, they mentioned in this case, like you know, Ra plus Andi, Randi. But usually we we don't say Randi. We don't say like that. We say Randi, like Randi, shortcut. Mm, we don't prolong like randi we don't say like that randi only then but when we say without andi we say long vowel ra like that nenu i ame she atanu he adi that miru you know all this evaru kaafi ti okay gruham means home okay uh, here i need to tell you something gruham means home this word used in the written language okay it has another meaning that is illu that is used in spoken language so home means gruham or illu okay so when you are writing you can use gruham vari gruham it's fine in writing but when we are speaking vari illu like that you can say we don't say vari gruham in the spoken language like that okay so what it means there okay next emt what uh, you know already no need to write if you know already then krupakar its name attender its position tata garu grandfather and garu is the honorific suffix the narayana its name hrudayam means i think you already typed before yeah ramanarasimham name matrubhasha matrubhasha name means mother language mother language or mother tongue okay hyderabad city name here next we have this we can skip okay next this also we can skip okay mm -hmm. this also gunin talu combination so we can skip yeah this also we can skip. okay here we have some words okay so you can continue reading then we see the meanings also uh if possible you say english meaning also so if there is a mistake i can correct it. okay you can start from aharam okay hindi telugu uh tamilam so okay kerala kerala so these are language names and the state name yeah. peru gopala rao 
name Malawi, yes. Malayalam. Malayalam. Tamil Nadu. Okay. So, Gautam. Gautam. Uh, let me discuss yeah. about these two lines, then we will continue. Uh, the first one, Aharam. Aharam means food. Okay. Here, very important. Mm, yeah. Usually, Aharam word most commonly used in the written language. But in the spoken language, we replace this aharam word with specific food item. Uh, for example, if you, if you are in Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, usually we say, have you, ha have you had your meal like that? To translate that one, we specify the food item. Usually here we eat rice. So we say, annam tinnava, like that. Annam tinnava, have you? had your meals or rice like that okay it, food also it can be food also but food meaning we don't use in the spoken language we specify the food item similarly there is another common polite way of asking bhojanam chesara have you had your meals like that okay then other things you know already some of them language names some of them state names okay uh, let's talk about these things. Okay, you can read and yeah, just read only. You, meanings you know, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, but Me you can always ask me if you don't know any word meaning. You can interrupt and ask me. If you know, you, you just continue reading. Okay. Ni peru eviti na peru rama narasimham. Okay. Mi peru emiti na peru venkata pati raju. Okay. Uh, atani peru emiti atani peru naraina. Okay. Adi kaitam. Idi ka. Adi, ga, uh, idi ga, kaitam. Adi gadiaram. Yeah. Uh, here I need to tell you something. They mentioned kaitam, but usually in the outside world we say ka gitam. Ka gitam. This is the standard spelling, not e. E also fine. It's used, it's in use, but usually when we say ka gitam like that, gi sound. Okay. You can continue reading. Adi talupu. Idi talupu. Idi Talapu Edi Goda. Okay. Atanu Mohan Itanu Mukundara. Yes. Mukundara. Yes. Keshav Rao uh, Hari Narayana Gari Manavadu. Okay. Indira Gandhi Motilal Manavaralu. Yeah. Indira Gandhi. Ra Indira Gandhi has long vowel sound. Indira Gandhi. Uh, Motilal Manavaralu. Okay. Devasahara. Devasahara. Hayangaru. Devasahayangaru. Ah, it's fine now. Deva Sahayam Garu. Philip. Philip Raju Garu. Philip Ra, Raju Gari Koduku. Koduku, yes, fine. Ame Javahar Lal Kuturu. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, in all these sentences, uh, are you familiar with the meaning or you want me to explain any meaning? I think I'm familiar with that. Okay, fine. Let's go to the next page. Okay, so we have in the next lesson, that is lesson four, Mottam Yenni, how many in total? Okay, Mottam means total, Yenni means how many? Okay, Yen means low, but mm, not necessary to use the meaning of in, in this phrase translation okay uh, vijaya again here we have the long vowel sound that means vijaya someone is calling vijaya that's why they said vijaya what are these so 
this means EV, what means EMT, and no need to translate the meaning of R. Okay. Uh, EV ballalu. They are tables, benches. So yeah, balla means tables or bench. Sit in this chair. So sit means kucho. In means low. Chair means kuchi. This means he. Okay, this one we already discussed. Next we have okay. Ivi any ballalu. How many tables, benches are these? Okay, let's make some practice. Uh, if I want to ask how many bananas are these? Okay, can you translate? Ivi any okay, so Banana, okay. So bananas, right? Yeah. So bananas. So Telugulo Arati, Apadam. Arati Pandlu. Okay, Arati Pandlu. Yeah. If you want, you can type there. Uh Ivi Yenni Arati Pandlu. How many bananas are these? Okay, type in the chat. V. Any arati pandulu. Yeah, any arati pandulu. Yeah. Let me open also the Google Docs. Oh, I need to type it there. So, so I, I can, can see the status of your typing. One second. There we go. Okay, uh, there is a, there is a correction. It is Pandlu. So you can type like N D L U P A N D L U Pandlu. Yes, now it will be perfect. Yes, correct. Okay. So uh, uh, just for fun, uh, uh, Pandlu Pandlu means pigs. Earlier it was typed like Pandulu. Okay. Pandi, pandi means pig. Okay. Pandulu oh, means pigs. pigs. Okay. Uh, sometimes, you know, if we type wrongly or if we say not, it becomes like fun like that. Okay. But it's okay. Here, Arati Pandulu means bananas. Okay. Then, uh, see, we have these sentences. Na? So, when you're practicing to build your vocabulary, what you can do? In your free time, if you want to continue practicing, uh, okay, you can type the in meaning also. How many bananas are these? That's the one. Huh? Let me see. Yeah, how many bananas are these? And you can type the English also. Okay, so later when you are practicing, you can keep the same structure okay. and to improve and to add more vocabulary to the language to your practice, uh, you can say even then keep it blank line. Then how many dash you translate that one like how many dash are these? Then keep on adding new vocabulary. You think for the new words how many chairs are these? How many Bits are these, how many, uh, whatever is there. Just you try to, uh, if you are familiar with them, just practice only Telugu words. So you it, you will build more vocabulary and sentence formation also will be practiced. Okay. Now let's go to the book. Okay. These are two, two benches or tables. Okay. So if we want to say like, these are two bananas. Can you try to translate? Okay, so Ivi Randu Areti Pandlu. Exactly. So these are two mangoes. Ivi Ivi Randu Mamadi Pandlu. Exactly. Okay. So let's go to the next sentence. So these are two tables. That is one table, how many tables are in total? Okay. So this is a little lengthy sentence, but you can read the Telugu meaning. Ivi Rendu Balalu 
అది ఒక బల్ల మొత్తం ఎన్ని బల్లలు సో హియర్ దీస్ ఆర్ టూ టేబుల్ స్పూన్స్ ఇవి రెండు బల్లలు దట్ ఈస్ వన్ టేబుల్ దట్ మీన్స్ అది ఒక బల్ల వన్ టేబుల్ హౌ మెనీ మీన్స్ ఎన్ని టేబుల్స్ ఇన్ టోటల్ ఇన్ టోటల్ మీన్స్ మొత్తం టేబుల్స్ మీన్స్ బల్లలు ఓకే మొత్తం మూడు బల్లలు దే ఆర్ త్రీ టేబుల్స్ ఇన్ టోటల్ సో సిమిలర్లీ ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు సే దే ఆర్ త్రీ టమాటోస్ ఇన్ టోటల్ కెన్ యూ ట్రాన్స్ ట్రాన్స్లేట్ మొత్తం ఓకే సో త్రీ టమాటోస్ సో మొత్తం మూడు టమాటోలు ఎస్ కరెక్ట్ అండి సో నెక్స్ట్ ఈ బల్లలు ఎక్కడ ఉన్నాయి వేర్ ఆర్ దీస్ బెంచెస్ ఓకే లెట్స్ ప్రాక్టీస్ విత్ సంథింగ్ ఎల్స్ వేర్ ఆర్ దీస్ బుక్స్ కెన్ యూ ట్రాన్స్ పుస్తకాలు ఎక్కడ ఉన్నాయి యా పర్ఫెక్ట్ అండి నెక్స్ట్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్ ద రూమ్ గదిలో ఉన్నాయి దే ఆర్ ఇన్ ద రూమ్ సో ఐ థింక్ యూ నో ఆల్రెడీ బట్ లెట్ మీ రిపీట్ దే మీన్స్ వారు ఆర్ అది వారు ఈజ్ యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ద పీపుల్ అవి ఈజ్ యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ద థింగ్స్ ఓకే సో దే ఆర్ ఇన్ ద రూమ్ మీన్స్ అవి గదిలో ఉన్నాయి బట్ అవి వి స్కిప్డ్ ఇన్ ద తెలుగు ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ బట్ ఇట్స్ ఓకే అండర్స్టాండబుల్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ ఐ సే దే ఆర్ ఇన్ ద దే ఆర్ ఆన్ ద టేబుల్ can you translate uh avi balla pai unnai okay so again if i say they are in the library can you so, try so pustakalaye lo uh, unnai yeah uh, actually pustakalayam okay but the most commonly used term is granthalayam granthalayam yeah you can note down and library means grandalayam so they are in the library means avi grandalayam lo unnai written now actually grandalayam no need to mention written language it can be used in the spoken language also for example Uh, somebody is searching for a library they can say ikkada grandalayam ekkada undi here where is the library nearby it's used in the spoken language also okay next what we have um avi enni kurchilo how many okay this one we discussed already let's go to the next page avi moodu kurchilo there are three chairs okay let's make another sentence they are two minutes left yeah they are there are four students can you say four students okay so it will be little different the translation it is not avi because people so, are there they are varu, four students yes varu nalaguru uh, vidyarthulu perfect perfect correct and they are uh, four students varu nalaguru vidyarthulu next one aa kurchilu ekkada unnai where are those chairs yeah so let's make another sentence where are those bags can you try to translate a sanchilo ekkada unnai yeah so uh, sanchulu san sanchulu singular sandhi again sanchi singular uh, when we add lu suffix to make the plural sanchi becomes sanchu sanchulu a sanchulu we don't say sanchilu we don't say like that we say sanchulu a sanchulu ekkada unnai like that sanchu yes next a kuchilu goda degara unnai those chairs are near the wall okay uh, let's make similar sentences those okay so i have a question here so if it's yeah. a long e sound at the end then the sandhi rule does not apply when adding the lu suffix uh so I... it's only only when there is a short e then the lu suffix is applied now uh yeah. which uh, which area can you tell me so comparing the... sanchi and kurchi right sanchi just has the short u and that's why it takes on the sandhi 
it goes to Sanchulu, but yes. Kurchi doesn't do that. It says Kurchilu. Ah, so yeah, uh, yeah. Here, Kur we don't say Kurchulu. Uh, 